your position at Cozair Children's Hospital. Okay, I'm Debbie Kendall. I've been a nurse at Cozair Children's for 33 years. I work in the NICU unit. Um, who do you primarily help? Premature babies. Um, we have about 100 bed units, so premature babies and babies that are born with a, a little bit of sickness. They can't breathe good or they have glucose issues. Mostly premature babies. Okay, and uh, what services do you provide? Well, we um, grow the premature babies from, if they're born at 24 weeks, they're supposed to go for 40 weeks. So we provide heat and um, food and uh, medicine. We grow them until they're almost full term, so then the moms can take them home. Okay, and what's the most difficult part of your job? Well, some of them don't do well. Some of them die. That's really hard when they die. Uh, some of them um, have long-lasting, lifelong um, problems with their breathing, with their eyesight. Some of them don't um, grow, don't digest food properly, so they um, have lifelong problems. So that's really, really hard. Okay. Uh, what do you feel like is the least understood thing about the people that you serve? I think people don't know there's as many as there is. There's, um, we, like I said, we have a 100-bed unit, and it's full all the time. So we have preemie babies. People don't even know there's that many preemie babies. And we're just one hospital in Louisville. So I think if, if people don't know, people don't know about us. People don't know. You know, we're behind closed doors, and people don't really realize. Um, what do you think would help people better understand this? Um, education, um, things like you're doing, this, this will help them understand it better. Um, education in the schools, education at the prenatal level when moms go for checkups, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, why do you think this particular injustice continues to happen in the world? Um... I think people don't know enough about it. I think, um, why does it keep happening? It's just going to keep happening. We don't know why premature babies happen sometimes. You know, it, it's nobody's fault. Um, sometimes it just happens because we, we don't know. We don't really have an answer. We don't know why it happens. Is there anything that contributes to this happening? Um, moms who don't have good prenatal care. You know, moms need to eat right, they need to not smoke, um, not drink alcohol, moms who do drugs, uh, very young moms, you know, we have moms deliver babies that are, you know, 13, 14 years old, their bodies aren't ready yet, um, moms that are having more than one baby at a time, twins or triplets or more than that, those babies are born premature, easier, but it's not something that the mom's done, usually. Okay. Um, do you, why do you feel, who do you feel has the power to change this situation? Um, probably all of us do. Um, making sure people know, uh, things to do to not have that baby early. March of Dimes does some programs, um, every week counts to try to get the moms to understand the babies need to stay in there to the full 40 weeks. Um, education, education in the prenatal, education in when we're doing sex education at school, you know, letting those people know, letting those kids know that um, the things that can happen and the premature babies that, that can happen, the lifelong effects that can come from that. All right, and uh, that's it. Thank you for interviewing with me. Oh, you're welcome.